Hey guys, Obelisk here. Welcome to another one of my class overview video series. Today, we're not actually gonna talk about a class. We're gonna talk about just a, uh, I guess a mechanic within the game. Uh, we're gonna talk about ground targets, how to set those, how to uh, you know, quickly set them the most efficient way possible, some keyboard settings that you might need to look at um, if you're unfamiliar with this. Um, let's go ahead and hop into game here. I'm with my Animus here. And the reason I'm doing this video is because um, in my Animus class overview video, someone had some questions about um, how to quickly set ground targets. And it occurred to me that m maybe not everyone knows um, a couple of these little tricks and tips about um, just efficiency within the game. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is talk about how I set my ground targets and a, a couple of ways that I think you should be doing them, um, things that are quick and easy. So first and foremost, the, the main way I set ground targets and if I'm playing Reaver, if I'm playing Warden, Animus, um, anything that needs a ground target, I'll have some of these. I might not have as many macros, but I'll have two or three. Uh, for example, on Animus, I have four ground target buttons. I have one that sets a ground target um, pretty much on top of me, one that sets one 500 units away, one that sets one 950, and then I have one that sets one 1500. I'm not sure I even use that one ever, but I have it regardless. Um, I think most shrooms are a thousand range, um, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so um, the quickest and easiest way to just throw down a fast ground target is to make these macros. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how to make a, a ground target macro, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in your, your chat slash macro, and then you're gonna label the macro. And I label the macro based on what distance I'm setting it at. So for example, we're gonna make a macro that sets it, um, the ground target 750 units away. So I'll just label it 750. And then you'll hit a space and then you'll slash ground set 750. So the command is slash ground set 750 and to make a macro you type slash macro, you label it and then you, you type in the command you want entered. Um, if, you, if you don't have very much experience making macros. Um, so this is what we have here. So then I'll hit enter and then a little um, icon deal will uh, appear on my cursor and I'll just put it on my quick bar, wherever. So I put it on my nine slot. So whenever I press or click nine, it's gonna, it's gonna set that ground target 750 units in front of me, wherever I'm facing. So that's a super fast way if I wanna just throw down a 750 unit ground target. Um, and like I said, I have, I have a variety of these, you know, one through four, uh, one, 500, 950, and, and 1500. So I can I can throw down shrooms, you know, extremely fast. Like I'll uh, you know, put one here, put one here, put one over there. Just uh, you know, all over the place. Anyway, so that's that's probably the fastest. However, there might be times where you need to manually set a ground target. For example, if I need to set a ground target right here. I don't have any preset macro that puts one right here. Um, so what I would do is I would have to manually set my ground target. In order to do that, we're gonna open up our keyboard settings and we're just gonna make sure we have these buttons bound somewhere. Um, and you can rebind them wherever you want, uh, whatever is easy for you. Um, to me, ground targets aren't super important, so I don't have it on a super convenient bind. Shift G is my set ground target button which is relatively convenient, but it's not one of my main um, buttons that, that I hit all the time. So I have Shift G as my ground target. So when I hold down Shift G, it puts a ground target, you know, wherever I'm facing. And it appears that the last ground target I set was this distance away from me. So any other ground target I make, it's just gonna put it that distance facing me. But like I, like I said earlier, we need a ground target right here. So how do we move this ground target from there to there. The answer to move it like that would be to go look at where your mouse click button is. And this is how you should be turning your character at all times anyway. This is how I turn around like this and how I, I turn when I'm running. Mouse looks extremely important. It's the most efficient way to move your character. You know, you shouldn't be using arrow keys. Look how slow this is turning around. You wanna be turning like that. Anyway, so find what your, or where your mouse look um, um, I guess function is bound. Mine's right mouse. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down Shift G 
And then you're gonna hold down your right click button or whatever it is. So I'm holding Shift G and then I'm holding this. And then what you're gonna do is just drag it forward and backwards, okay? So this is gonna set the distance. And if you're not facing anything or not, um, yeah, so if I face someone, I can't turn, obviously, unless I break face and I can turn left and right. So what you're gonna do is if you're not facing anyone, you can just freely move your ground target wherever your mouse wants to put it. So like I said, you have to hold down your ground target button, mine shift G, and then you hold down your mouse click button, mine's right click, and then you just drag your mouse wherever you wanna put it. And this will, you, this, you know, super, super manual, super customizable. And then you can just put your ground target where you need it. Um, so that's a fast way to, to do that. There is an issue um, with this um, from what I found. When you're holding down Shift G and then you hit your whatever your mouse pan button is, it's gonna just it's gonna do this to your camera. It's gonna awkwardly put you like that. So be careful not to hit your mouse pan button when you're holding down your ground target button because it just makes it weird. And it, it might not do it when you, let's see. It's uh Yep, still does it. Yeah, whatever your mouse click button is, it's gonna do that. I was hoping, I was thinking maybe if it was just middle mouse, um, it does that, but it's, it's whatever your mouse um, pan button is. So hold down Shift G and then hold down your mouse click button and then just throw it wherever. So that's that's the, the super basic way of doing it. Now we have an issue where you wanna put a ground target behind something. Okay, so we're within range of this ground target, but down here, as you can see, it says you can't see your ground target from here. Okay, so there's a weird function that you can do in order to see your ground target. And if you can see this, you can see this little dot floating above it. I suppose that's called the z-axis, I guess, in this. And so you can set that, you can move that around. And how you do that is you hold, hold down your ground target button, which is mine shift G, and then you hold down your mouse click button, which is right click for me, and then you just move your little uh, your scroll wheel as you're holding down Shift G and right click. Then you all you gotta do is move that up and down, and that's gonna adjust this. So let's put it back on the floor, and then we'll put this behind the stone. Now it's behind this rock, so I can't see it. So what I'm gonna do? Oops, I moved it a little bit. Yeah, still can't see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this to where I can see this. And it might not work, yeah, yep. So if I raise it high enough, then I can put the tangler behind terrain. Um, so this is pretty, pretty useful. So for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a ground target just on top of me. If I can, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this really, really high if I can. This might be as high as it goes, yeah. This is high, well, no, we can go higher. So let's raise it super high. Okay, now now the, the interesting thing is we're at a point where we have our dot way in the air, but now it says you can't cast a spell in the air. So it's very interesting how, how this works. I guess there's a height limit, maybe? Let's, uh, let's just try to lower it a little bit. See, I don't even know where this is. It's, there it is. All right, so let's get it down a little bit lower. Okay, so at this point, I can, I can cast it. So let's, let's try to set it right here again. All right, so it's pretty high in the air. Let's see if we can cast a pet behind this building. Yep. Okay, let's get a little closer. Yep, so... I get the right spot to where I can, I'm in, in range of this little dot, but... So at this point I can cast, and I'm actually putting the shrooms on top of this building. So you can get some really weird um, geometry stuff going on by adjusting this. It's not a very, as you can see, it takes a little while to find the sweet spots about where you can actually put stuff. So it's not like a super quick thing, but if you have time and like a keep siege and you want to throw up tanglers somewhere, then there you go. I, 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 I don't know honestly if this is some sort of exploit or bug. Um, it's been like this ever since I've been playing, ever since I've at least noticed this. So I, I wouldn't think it's a bug since they obviously put this X or Z axis, I guess, 
in for a reason. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting thing. You can get some really interesting geometry things going on with it. So keep that in mind. That's sort of a, I guess, an advanced ground target technique. Um, a little bit more than just the, you know, setting your your macros and then your manual set. You can change how high you want the ground target. Which, like I said, the, the most practical use is just throwing it over like a hill or like a, a rock, something that gets in the way. Um, and, and we'll set it. Um, let me get on my horse and look quicker. We'll set it above this hill and then we'll run down just so I can show you another practical use for it. So I'll put it right there. And let's see. Okay, so at this point, your uh, area target is out of range. Oops. Put it back down there. Out of range. And then raise this up. Raise it up a little more. Actually, it's out of range, not out of view. Sorry, let me. All right, you can't see your ground target from here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise this a little bit. Make sure I don't move the ground target too much. That's out of range. Can't cast a spell in the air, so lower it a little bit. There's a sweet spot to it. Out of range. Why is it out of range? Okay, there we go. And now I can cast on it. However, once I drop it completely down, it's going to be, well, not in, it's not visible. You can't see your target from here. So. That's how you cast shrooms, twifts, whatever ground target spell you want um, on things that are out of line of sight, if you need line of sight. Like, there are things like maybe uh, ground target AOE spells. I don't know if you need line of sight from, for those, but it appears that you need uh, to be able to see your ground target for shroom pets at least. So that's just a little helpful tip there. That about covers uh, everything I can think of for ground targets. Um, if you have any more specific questions, put them in the comments. Um, if anyone has any uh, any questions about other mechanics that they're curious about, um, you know, anything like anything at all that you just want to know, well, how, how how do I do this efficiently? Um, whether it be your keyboard setup, um, how to how to turn quickly, um, you know, there may be people out there that always turn like this, and that's super slow, you know. Whereas you can turn like that, you can literally move so fast. If you don't know how to you know, do that, let me know and I can make a video about that. Panning as well, if you don't know how to pan very quickly, um, let me know, I'll show you an efficient way to do that. Anything at all. Um, there are a lot of mechanics in Dayhawk that I can't really think of because I guess they're, you know, once you, you do them for, once you play the game for 15 years or however long we've been playing, you kind of forget um, what you learned, I guess, and that it's not common knowledge to everyone. Um, so everyone might be at a different skill level. Um, so if you have any questions about certain types of mechanics, certain types of efficiency, put them in the comments. Not, I'm happy to make any sort of custom video or uh, answer any questions at all. Um, like I said, just put them in the comments. If you have any more questions about ground targets, let me know. Any suggestions, anything like that, put them in the comments. I'm going to try to make some more class overview videos. Um, I'm going to be very busy. Um, in July. I'm not going to be able to make any videos in July, I don't think. But hopefully in August, I'll be able to get back to making, you know, a video or two a week. Um, so we'll see once we get there. That's why they've been kind of put on hold, just, you know, hadn't really had time to, to vote to it. But that being said, I hope to get back to it soon so we can get, hopefully, I, 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 ideally I'd like to get every single class in the game, make an overview video for it. So um, keep an eye out for those, especially in August. July is going to be a, a slow month. Um, but like I said, questions, comments, let me know. Thanks again for watching, guys. Um, hope it helps, and we'll see you next time.